Sure. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access. Thanks a lot for this briefing. Uh, there's something I've been wanting to ask you, so I'll take this opportunity. It has to do with, in the middle, about the middle of your term, I, I read that you were still operating or, or still holding the position of Foreign Minister of Uganda. So I wanted to know, was this true? And if so, how could, you do, how could it be done at the same time? And I wanted to ask you about South Sudan, given the, the fighting that's taking place there, given the position of the Ugandan government pretty much in support of Salva Kiir, and given reports that you, you're free to you know, confirm or deny that you have some role in this NHAS, Antibody Holding Services, that runs the airport in Juba. Is there, can you respond to that kind of constellation of, some would say, how can you be PGA and still have those two roles? Do you have either of the two roles? Uh, it, is, it, it is not that I heard the Office of, my, of Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uganda in the middle of this session. I am still the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uganda, so, right. I'm and, and I remain so. At that time. Right. But let me tell you one thing. Please. I have a very, very able assistant minister who has been acting. I am substantive minister, but there is an acting minister of state who is doing that. I don't know whether NHAS is operating in South Sudan, uh, but I used to be a shareholder, but I gave it up when I, sta I, I started working. At my, I, I transferred my holdings. And I don't think it operates in, uh, in, in Juba. I think it operates in Entebbe. But about, about the fighting in South Sudan, uh, I think that the, the, the peace agreement that has been signed, like all peace agree ceasefire agreements, they take time to consolidate. And, and there's, there's now a requirement for monitoring, uh, a monitoring team to ensure that and, imp and implement the ceasefire. Uganda is not supporting Salva Kiir as such. We are requested then because there was a rebellion, but now we are working in tandem with the IGAD process. And the peace agreement, I believe, will take hold. Will the troops leave, uh, leave South, South Sudan? We, ha we, have, we, have, we are in South Sudan for different reasons. Uh, it's part of our operation together with the United States, with other countries, uh, to pursue the Lord's resistance. I mean, Central African Republic, but operating from South Sudan. Thank you.